Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this will be a, a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading July 29th to a August 4th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we're going to jump straight away uh, into the reading. Okay, so uh, the first card which stands for the topic for a Gemini week, this is going to be the Page of Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that uh, you Gemini need to overcome throughout the week, this is going to be the Nine of Cups, followed by the third card which stands for the positive aspect of the week here, and we do have uh, the uh, Strength card, and then the last one which is the Guidance, uh, we have the Four of Swords, so pretty straightforward reading for what it seems. By the way, if you think, if you are wondering how I know what that card is, be, um, without looking at it, my camera. I'm using a a phone to record my iPhone, and uh, with the glossy finish at the end, uh, it's just. I, I can see the cards, all the cards, just like that, just from the glossy finish. Anyway. Uh, my point is that I am not psychic, all right? <laughs> anyway, so um, I, it, this, like I said, this reading is pretty straightforward. So uh, what the card here points is a, a connection in between you and someone that others disapprove, all right? And that will get in the way in the connection or a relationship itself. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, okay? It could be friendship. It could be a, a business relationship as well, and etc., etc. The whole point here is, is that, well, at least for you, it could be business relationship because as the page stands, the other person definitely have some emotional involvement in all that. But as it stands here, all right, um, just the opinion of the others may kind of get into your head, okay? And you may have second doubts. It's, it's, is it going to work out, you know, or is it even worth uh, trying to maintain this communication, this relationship, you know, or, or kind of like this empathizement, if you want to say it that way. So before we scrutinize the reading, let's go to the cards one more time. The first one it is the page of uh, cups. Now that I think of, you know, as the page could represent as well uh, as well a, a child, the reading in that case could point to insubordinate child, all right? Your child, for example, that does not want to listen to you at all. And this week, it is the week where you have to show your child who is the boss, at least according to these cards. So... Page of uh, Cups, it is the topic followed by uh, the um, Nine of Cups, which stands as a challenge. Afterwards, it is the Strength card, which represents the uh, positive aspect. And the final card here, it is going to be the Four of Swords, which stands for the uh, guidance that Tara is offering to you. So, um, a Page of Cups, like we said, it is a, a person 
Uh, now the page it's more prone to attend to the overview rather than to the minor details. That being said, let's say that we're talking about a, a romantic relationship here, all right? And everybody it's against you. Page doesn't care, all right? They they do not concern themselves with other people's opinion. They don't concern themselves with these minor details, what others think of you, of, of your relationship with them, and etc. etc. What they focus themselves on, it is the overview, the, 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 the end result of all that, okay? So that being said, they are very uh, adaptable in the sense of that they are capable to make a, uh, a critical self-analysis, self-assessment, if you want to say it that way, and reposition, them, repo, reposition themselves very, very swiftly. And also, like I said, whatever that relationship is all about, there is definitely an, an emotional connection, at least from the side of the page towards you. Which, if it is your child, then, you know, that is um, kind of understandable. But if it is your business partner, the very least, that person takes you as a, a friend, okay? The accompanied card here is going to be the Tree of uh, Cups. Formation, it is the uh, passive supporters that we do have. So with the Tree of Cups and with the page uh, this week, the whole week is going to revolve around you and the page sharing say the same vision, you know, and trying to achieve the same results uh, and also sharing an, an emotions in between. So if that's a good friend of yours, for example, when you are going through a something rough, even if other people were telling to this friend of yours, not to mess around with your stuff because they may get into trouble, all right? They don't care. I mean, they're your friend, all right? They, they do love you, a friendship love. So for that reason, you know, they will try to understand you and they will try to help you with anything that they can. That, that could be just an example here, okay? Or it could be a relationship with a woman, young woman, that you go into, your family is against, her family is against, all right? And uh, your friends are against, and now you have to think of, um, with the page itself, with that person, you know, how we are gonna do it, all right? What is our vision toward this relationship or toward this business, for example, okay? And, uh, you know, how we are to produce results. And should you think of it together, I mean, having, uh, attending to the overview rather than to the details that people don't like you, okay? It's, it's much more possible that you are going to reach to a, a very good strategy how to move forward from here. The challenges, however, are the Nine of Cups. And as a passive card, it does point that the dislike of your happiness is going to be quite severe. Right? It's, it, you are going to find it very difficult to sustain this milestone, okay? To sustain that foundation of a good partnership or romantic relationship that you may have uh, to a point where the pollution of other people's mouth talks and, and, and actions as well is going to be so severe that uh, you may find it, that you may start finding it difficult to believe that it is what you want, you know, and it is, it is your dream, okay? It is, it is your wish to do. That's why you need to put an extra effort into securing what you have already achieved with that person, Page of Cups. The accompanied card here is going to be the Five of Pentacles, the formation, it is a passive friends, and uh, people aren't going to go easy on you guys. I mean, they are going to point you. I mean, not physically, all right? Just they're going to point you how miserable you are to be should you proceed forward with this person. Uh, for the, the first example that comes to my mind, let's say that you marry for a man, all right? Or for a woman, it doesn't matter. Your family doesn't like it. And for that reason, they tell you, well, you are deprived from a will, all right? You are deprived from inheritance. Just you know, don't call us anymore. So that, that this is what I'm trying to say here is that people will try to put you into very disadvantageous to say the least, a situation more like a, uh, uh, an ultimate 
a rock bottom type of situation. I don't know how to how to place it here. Excuse me for that, guys. But it's more like leaving you no choice whatsoever, or at least from their side. Okay. And uh, you need to withstand that. You need to resist it. Uh, it's uh, with everything you got. And uh, the next card here, which stands for the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the strength card. Well, uh, while it is a very strong card in the sense of that does exert a lot of influence into this uh, reading, it does refer to your... Um, how do you place it? It does refer to your... Um, Resilience was the word that I was searching for. So being resilient to stay on the path that you have chosen, being as resilient as possible to endure and to persevere through your patience, not feeling the necessity to constantly explain yourself is going to, uh, how can I place it, is going to present you so strong in front of those people who wants to ruin it for you, all right, that these people will have to, at the end, live with it. It's, it's as simple as that, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's your life. And even if your family is against, yeah, your family gave you life, all right, but it is your life. And you get to choose what to do with it, especially if you are a grown and mature a person. The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of uh, Swords, Formation, it is a active friends, and that, that's even better because no matter how um, people were going to exaggerate the consequences, you know, of your actions here with the Page of Cups, uh, you will know the truth. I mean, you will be uh, sober enough or clear minded enough, you know, to um, know is this true or not. So, in other words, you will assess very accurately, you know, what are going to be the repercussions and the consequences of your actions deciding to go along with the Page of Cups, either in a business, either in a relationship, you know, or etc, etc. And as we said about child, you know, this could be a, a, a situation in family where one parent spoils the child, the other parent wants to exert order in it, you know, and, and a discipline as well. And so you happen to be from the side of the discipline this time around. And you know, um, how, how can I how could I describe it? It's more like a. Um, uh, in that case, the challenges are going to be to maintain that discipline because you are gonna start feeling that you are losing grasp upon what you are exerting. Because every time that you uh, that you leave that kid with the other parent, you know the other parent starts spoiling it, and therefore it's kind of like bouncing bouncing back the discipline you have already exerted. So what is the right approach here, you may ask? Well, that is this, this plate here with the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords uh, re uh, refers to open conversations and uh, deep deliberations upon what are the next options available. I mean, what you really can do uh, in order to proceed on peacefully. And now I'm going to open here a, um, a quotation or rather like, I don't know how to say it, you know, but if that is about your child then the four of swords here point that you need to seek a, a professional attendance, meaning that if your child, uh, child is lacking math, all right, you need to hire a teacher of math, you know, a private teacher of math. If it lacks literature, then you have to do the same thing. You know, if you have trouble concentrating, then probably you need to do something about it as well. But it, whole point here with the Four of Swords that you need to seek a, a, a professional help if it refers to your child. Other way around, you know, you need to, with the Four of Swords, you need to try to uh, achieve as much peace as possible by elaborating yourself upon um, the reasons, you know, why you are doing it. It's not like explaining yourself, but just displaying the reasons. That is a different. Explaining yourself makes you feel guilty, makes you feel, uh, make, makes you look, excuse me, guilty, makes you look a, uh, um, not inconsistent, but let's say um, undetermined as well, because through um, explaining yourself, um, one is trying to convince themselves, or, or, or at least this is the feel, and as well, uh, but displaying just the um, 
the reasons why with a, a period behind is going to make the impression into the others that it is just your choice and they will have to swallow it one way or another either with a uh, with a sweet juice or with a uh, a bitter juice it's it, it is entirely up to them and whoever is behind you forward moving forward they are to be very very faithful whoever is against you well they will just simply drop off your plaza the accompanied card here is going to be the world, the formation. It is a um, active enemies, and with the world here, uh, you should not be um, conclusive in a sense of that you should always leave a, a door open for those who, for the due time, uh, are uh, completely un. Um, unresponsive in a sense of that for example your family after you lay down the reasons you know they still do not support you you should not exclude them completely but just you know walk away for the time being maybe in a two months or maybe in a couple of years they may have a change of heart the point here with the world to the four of swords is that you should not burn bridge bridge or bridges uh, unless you necessarily have to okay so that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly tarot reading, July 29th to August 4th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.